happy, blessed, absolutely wonderful 2024. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'll tell you, this is still just rather strange to me to have my name on a Bible college. I used to think, why would anybody want to know what I have to say? <laughs> I, uh, back on the radio days, you know, sit there in front of that control panel and all of that, and I think, suppose anybody's listening to this. And <laughs> then I'd get, you know, the people would write me testimonies. And I'm, I'm saying this to you because it's important that you know this, and I suggest you follow it. And then comes along television. And I felt the same way about that. And so then later, Pat Robertson and I became good friends. Well, for 50 years. So just to let him know that I was watching, I'd send him a watch. So I still do the same thing to bless the on-air people, to let them know that I'm, I'm watching, that they are ministering to me, Amen. write a letter, some sort of gift, and to, to, to let people know. And not just write a little testimony or something. Call. Call the ministry and say, be sure and, and tell Mark and Trina Hankins how much I love them and that they are ministering to my life. Amen. There's encouragement in that because media ministry is, the, the testimonies are, are good and all that, but in, you, need, you need to hear it and to know it. So now here we are back in the Gospel of John. The 14th chapter, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. There's a commandment. There is a commandment. Let not your heart be troubled. God, keep my heart from being troubled. No, you do it. <laughs> we don't have any business asking him to do what he's already told us to do. So he put a stop to that. Well, how do I do that? Well, just hang around here. We'll find that. Let not your heart be troubled. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also, and whether I go, you know, and you... And, you and the way you know. Thomas said, Lord, uh, where are you going? <laughs> and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way. Oh. Amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also, and from henceforth you know him and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, Show us and stuff out. Jesus said, have I been so long time with you and you've not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me has seen the Father. And how saith me, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? Now listen, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me, he does the works. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Glory to God. And in ministering healing. Well, of course, uh, the connection that I had with, with uh, Brother Oral Roberts uh, started out flying co-pilot for his ministry airplane. And then, then, then uh, Colin Steele came around. He said, Kenneth, he said, uh, you know, I was 30 years old. And uh, he said, uh, you're a grown man, you drive his car. <laughs> so I drove his car. And there were, I, I learned just driving around with him. 
But now, he did it like this. He would sit on a chair after preaching and, and teaching. And, and he would sit there and he, 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 would, he would say now like this. He would say now, I'm gonna lay my hands on you because that's what Christ, the anointed one, and he, that's what Christ told me to do. And he's right here. So that people had that same concept that he's here. And he said, he's the healer. I'm not. But he is the healer. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, and, 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 but to get the concept through that, it, that he's the one that does the work. That's what Jesus said. That's where he got that. Now, where he received that, that's a better way to say it. So now, he that believes on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Now, ask can also be translated demand. Well, you're not demanding something out of God, but you demand sickness and disease to move. You see that in the third chapter of the book of Acts. Peter and John at the, the beautiful gate of the temple, looking up, expecting to receive something from him. Well, go back and Mark and Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and see how many times they went into the temple, particularly in the book of Mark. How many times do you think he's going to pass that man by and not give him anything? No. Why didn't he raise him up? He said, I only say what I hear my father say, and I only do what I see my father do. He didn't have any right to raise him up. But he's listening. However, Peter and John, and check it out for yourself in the third chapter of the book of Acts, he looked up expecting to receive something from them. Well, of course he did. He's saying, well, my boys are here again. <laughs> Glory to God, I'm about to receive something. He didn't know what he was about to get. So here is whatever you demand I, I will do. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. And he took him by the hand and he walked for the first time in his life. Amen. Now, what do you say about it? Why, what, why are you looking on us? It was the power in the name. He was there when he said that. He heard him say it. <laughs> so he did it. So his name can do anything he could do while he was here on the earth. Because the name has his authority. Yes. And that name is given to us as a spiritual weapon yes. and a spiritual blessing and so forth. And we'll do more study about that later. Look at the 21st verse. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loves me, and he that loves me shall be loved of my Father, and I'll love him, and I'll manifest myself to him. Whoa. Praise God. I will manifest myself to him. Now, I, I marked these things. I didn't mark them all at the same time. Over a period of years, I've had this Bible in operation a number of years. And uh, then I, I made some red marks around some things, and I just, I just, but, 
squared that off with red. Every time I open that page, my eye goes right there. The words that I speak, I speak not of myself. And I'll manifest myself to you, Ken. I believe that, sir. I believe that. Now, look at the 23rd verse. Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man love me, well, of course, that's mankind. If a man love me, he will keep my words. My father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loves me not keeps not my sayings and the word which you hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. Praise God. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. There it is again. Don't be afraid. Well, we have that peace within us. You got that the minute you was born again. Now, I have <laughs> today, I'm talking about, about back, we, we taped these things early, of course you know. And, and the actual calendar day today, November the 2nd. I thought it was a day like any other day. I, I flew a charter trip from uh, Little Rock to Shreveport and back. An executive with the Arkansas Louisiana Natural Gas Company. And we left rather early that morning. And, uh, and of course, I waited on him uh, until he was done. And by the time I got back home, it was, it was right at 8 o'clock in the evening. I can see all this in my mind right now. And uh, Gloria was, was uh, at the stove. She waited for me. And I walked in. I took my suit off, of course. And when I walked in there, um, <laughs> just as I sat down, uh, I heard it in here. And it was so strong. I heard the Lord say, Kenneth, if you don't get right with me, you headed to a devil's hell, son. And I knew it. I said, I know it. What do I do now? I heard my Sunday school teacher's voice. Her name was Mrs. Taggart. And she was a widow. And uh, we could, she was in her 80s. We called her Old Lady Taggart. She called herself Old Lady Taggart. <laughs> in a Sunday school class to University Baptist Church in Abilene, Texas. Boys, you have to ask Jesus to come into your heart. I did it. I'd never heard of a new creature. I didn't know that. I was, I was scripturally illiterate. For several seconds, I couldn't shut my mouth. And this is my testimony. <clears throat> After those several seconds, profanity was gone until this day. Amen. Amen. So the evidence was there. And I'm saying this for the benefit of those that are watching. It is real. He's real. And over the years, I've had many, many other things, many healings, many strong things that have, that have happened to me and through glory in me and, and so forth. So 
All of this is absolute truth. The scripture doesn't say, Jesus didn't say, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. It did not say that. Don't slang it around. Don't make slang out of it. He said, it will make you free. It'll make you free. It has the authority to make it happen right then. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God said to Abram, I have, he didn't say, I have set you up to be. No, 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 no. I have made you the father of many nations. Therefore, your name will no longer be called Abram, but Abraham. The H, covenant name change. That's the first one recorded in the scripture. That H is Hashem, the name. Yes. It is the H in yod Hey, vav Hey. That meant they are in covenant agreement yes. through circumcision. This covenant, he, he entered and he said so. My covenant will be between the two of us. He said, as for me. So he didn't have to do it. He could have said, no, I'm too old for that. But he was smarter than that. (laughs) Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if God chose Abraham, I choose Abraham. If I choose Abraham, I choose his offspring. And uh, I am, and, and the scripture says, we're the wild olive branch grafted in. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. So according to the word, you and I are the seed of Abraham. Yes. That makes us Jewish in our heart. And Jesus said, they hate me, they'll hate you. (laughs) Why did they hate him? Anybody have a clue? He preached the blessing and not the law. He preached prosperity. They they preached the law. And he just clashed with them all the time. Well, you preach prosperity and you begin to prosper. Look out. A preacher, a Christian, a dedicated child of God that has money enough to do anything that God tells us to do by his spirit and we have access, you better look out. Jesus said it right there in the 10th chapter of John. Persecutions, he said, you will receive 100 fold with persecutions. It's coming. So don't pay any attention to it. When they need money, you'll hear from them again. (laughs) Well, that's just the way it is. And so, what do families fall out over? Money. The apostle Paul said money No, that isn't what he said. The love of money. Money is not the root of all evil. You had to have some of it. You're wearing clothes. I mean, you had to have some of it. You you didn't walk here. You didn't ride a horse here, I don't think, unless you wanted to. All money is involved. But the love of it is the root of all evil. And when you have more than somebody else, I I, I read this thing about President Donald Trump. And, you know, 
He's a billionaire. But you have to look behind that and see why he is a billionaire. Because his dad taught him how to do things that serve people. And he did things with his money that people don't know anything about. And I do have a connection there where I find out these things. And, um, but his dad would say, the working man. He said, when you go on the job, don't go talk to the foreman. He'll tell you whatever he wants you to hear but the working man. Yes. And so he, he's bent in that direction. So that, that's who's on his mind. And uh, his, he does things, did things. He just doesn't, doesn't talk about it. And if I hadn't been in, in the place there for, to find it out, I know nobody would ever know it. That's part of wearing your money well. Amen. You just don't go around yeah. bragging about what all you've right. done. Right. And you, you have to really poke at him to, for him to be willing to tell you. Now, regardless of man's politics, yeah. man or woman, motive. Yeah. Motive of the heart. If any person, preacher, politician, government person, uses their position of authority to try to defeat someone in politics is absolutely wrong in yeah. the sight of God. That's yeah. right. Because 13th chapter of Romans says they're in there at the Tolerance of God. But he looks on the heart. Yeah, that's right. And a lot of people look on the skin. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Has always been ridiculous and always will be ridiculous. Yeah. But here again, not principalities and powers, mm, yeah. rulers of the darkness of this world, it's the devil. Yeah. So we always, we always look at the heart and motive of people. We're not the judge. We have no right to judge. Yeah. And to judge someone is a whole lot easier. Now, you remember George, that, that Jesus said, give and it'll be given unto you? No, he didn't say that. He said, judge not that you be not judged. And then you have to read it all and understand that the Spirit of God wrote all of that. Amen. So the motive of the heart. It's so easy to judge someone. Well, now, Brother Copeland, I'm going to tell you something. If I'd have been him, I wouldn't have done that. Think how stupid that is. If you had been him, that's exactly what you would have done. Yes. Now, I know what you're trying to do. Well, but, you know, I'm bigger than that. I'm smarter than that. And Jesus said, you better watch out about that. He said, judge not, you be not judged because of the same measure you judge, it's going to be measured back to you. You're going to get your opportunity to judge not and uh, whew, we're out of time. <laughs> Come on, give the Lord praise. Thank you. 
you have a free resource to help you study and apply the Bible-based truths you just heard. Download the BVOV broadcast study notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Collect the notes from each week and use them in a group Bible study. Use the message outline to teach from. Discuss the scriptures and key points with your family of believers. Gain understanding from all the teachings on the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Get the whole week of notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Do you ever wake up and feel like the weight of the world is on you? You know you're called to be a light for God in the darkness, but your flame has become a flicker? Feed your spirit and build your faith with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland's From Faith to Faith, a daily guide to victory. A devotion for every day of the year, each page offers scripture readings and practical word-based teachings to help you take hold of God's promises. Use it as a personal, family, or group devotional and dive deeper into the Word of God. Drawing from their own experiences, the Copelands guide you through applying God's Word to make significant changes to get on the victory side of life. Whether you're struggling with weariness, offense, relationships, finances, or addiction, From Faith to Faith will uplift your spirit and set the tone for each day to be filled with purpose and faith. Embrace wisdom and watch as you grow from faith to faith. Request your free copy of From Faith to Faith, the daily devotional by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Receive God's wisdom, energize your faith, and take hold of your covenant promises. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01-225-787-310. This free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office today. Take the word of faith wherever you go with the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine. Build your faith through powerful articles from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and other guest authors. Read encouraging stories and testimonies of real life victory and equip your kids for spiritual growth in Commander Kelly's Corner. Download a digital copy for your tablet or mobile device. Sign up for your free monthly subscription or download your copy today on our KCM website. Now, don't you be judging me because I talked about politics. <laughs> don't be doing that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, this is Kenneth Copeland, the Kenneth Copeland Bible College class in the USA and in Canada, reminding you that God loves you and we love you and Jesus is Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Find out more about Kenneth Copeland Ministries and how we can help you grow in faith. Visit our website, kcm.org.uk.